Hello and welcome to DT with Mrs G. In today's session I'm going to show you how to build a simple stand which should be able to hold a small phone or um, a slightly larger device such as a Kindle or iPad. But first of all let's have a think about what makes a strong sturdy structure. The first and most important thing you need is a wide stable base. So if you take my painting easel here for example, it's not going to stand up when all of the legs are together. It's very wobbly and over it goes. As soon as I spread the three legs apart, then it stands up. And generally speaking, the wider and the stronger the base, the greater height and weight you can put on top of your structure. We're also using upward pointing triangles today, which are one of the strongest engineering structures for holding weight. If you look closely at the Eiffel Tower in Paris, you'll see a triangular shape. And if you look very closely at its actual structure, you'll see lots of triangles within that. The gherkin in London looks very impressive, but if you look closely, there are triangular shapes supporting it all over. The shard in London is based on one giant triangular prism structure and many of the railway bridges are reinforced with upward pointing triangles too. This is Westminster Bridge in London which is using arches to support it, another strong engineering structure which can also be seen on the underground. Finally we've got Cannon Street Bridge which is using cylindrical structures to hold it up. Basically, the less corners and joins a shape has, the stronger it will be, as there are less points of weakness. To make your stand today, you need to grab a handful of pencils. I like to use six, so I've got a nice wide ledge for my gadget to sit on, but you could get away with four, and you need three strong elastic bands. To find your longest pencils, grab a handful, drop them down onto the table, level them all up, and then you can pick out your longest ones. Take three of your pencils to make the basic triangular prism shape, which is what gives strength to your structure and holds up your gadget. So wind one elastic band around and around the top. So now you see when you open that up, you get your triangular prism shape and you can see the upward pointing triangles which give the structure strength. Now take these remaining three pencils because you're going to use these to make the little ledge upon which your gadget sits. That's why I like to use three because it makes the ledge slightly wider and your gadget's less likely to slip off. So we now need to strap these on to the front two pencils there. So I take one of my elastic bands and I wind it round and round and round. Keep going until it gets nice and tight. I hope it doesn't flick at you. There we go. So that is now attached to one pencil. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side and join this one here. Hold them together, round and round and round and round. Okay, that's now joined. I just check its stability. That's pretty good. Time to put these things to the test. I've actually got a Kindle here. I'm going to try on this little stand and the pencil behind actually helps to hold it up too. So I'm not going to let go until I know that my gadget is steady and stable on there. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll check this one. And the rubber bands help to grip and stop things slipping off too. So there we have two stands. These stands also make very good seats for little teddies. Let's put Mr. Frog on there and the meerkat on there. They can have a little rest. I hope you enjoyed making your stand with me today. Maybe now you can challenge yourself to come up with another structure. Maybe try building a cuboid structure next, which is quite challenging. My little frog's going to sit on this stand, I think. Goodbye.